so another question that i have is that uh, do you have any uh, although there may not be a very concrete advice that you can give here but do you have any advice on how to choose problems to work on you know as a ah, researcher very very difficult question so very mm -hmm. difficult question uh, uh but i would try to give you some give you know who might to say but uh, i would try to give you advice as i see it mm -hmm. see this question is a very important one because it's it's key it's totally key it's totally key because once you know what to do you know almost any problem in almost any problem at least in our area half of the community of maybe one fifth of the community could do it right so this me maybe some people are faster than others like oh, okay but once you know what the right thing to do is mm -hmm. the, the doing is not the and there's some creativity in that and so on, but once mm -hmm. you know what has to be done many people could do it so knowing what to do is the key right that's really what distinguishes one physicist from another what 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 they feel is interesting to do i think that's a really important thing now how do you know i will say what i think but of course this is just what i think you know we uh, as string theorists are in a strange area wonderful area but strange area because we don't have experiment Mm -hmm. many many branches of physics you can get away with murder theoretically speaking as long as you produce data that matches experiments more or less you know mm -hmm. that's a lot of science we don't have that so we are are forced to you know rely on logic on on calculation and on intuition for where we want to go like right? cuz we're not being asked to explain a particular result or a pressing lab result. so what's really important is this there are two two or three things that are very important the first thing is that it's important we maintain our standards you know it's important that we do calculations that are either right that are clean that have a clear you know it's important we don't start waffling we don't start giving up logic and consistency and and you know hard calculations because you know while that might work when you have experiments if you have neither experiment no clear thinking you have nothing so i think that's really important that's that's number one mm -hmm. the second thing to say about it is that you know when choosing a problem there is there are these twin instabilities on the one side there are many interesting questions but you cannot answer them on the other side there are many questions you can answer but they're not in, not particularly interesting mm -hmm. okay and stray too much on one side or the other and it's not very useful you know so it's like walking on you know a little ridge um if you go to the side where you the very interesting questions but you can't answer them in any clear rigorous i mean but i don't mean rigorous mathematically rigorous, but i mean with a clear calculation in a clear way that's not just waffling and talking um that's that's one thing you you you're addressing great questions but you're not doing anything and mm -hmm. then on the other side you can do very concrete things very clear basic calculations but if they're not interesting okay uh again in some fundamental sense you're not doing anything so to be at that edge to be in between them is key to be able to find a okay, something that is interesting and for which you can calculate and say something useful that is an edge that you have to really sense out that's one part of it i think so, it's sort of really, i think many people go on, yeah. are being too cautious mm -hmm. to do things they can do and they know that it will is clear and clean but you know from the beginning that it's almost un, very unlikely it will be interesting or you cannot answer the question to yourself in the best case scenario why will it be interesting so that that, that i think is a a very important thing to look for that to be on that that cutting that that place where 
you know, it's just at the place where you can do a calculation, but it's interesting. Uh, that's one thing. Please, uh, I interrupt. No, it's fine. So, uh, what I wanted to say is that, uh, do you think that this sense of, uh, you know, judging between the usefulness and, you know, the non-triviality of a problem is something that a physicist develops, you know, over his or her career, or is it something that you have just in you from the start? Oh, that's an interesting question. I think that you develop it. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think personality plays a role. You know, okay. again, another, uh, an, another thing that you want to do is to be a bit... There are two or three things like this, I feel. Uh, what do I know again? But I'll tell you what I feel. Um, you know, uh, uh, one of the things is how much you trust yourself. You know, if you have a feeling, there are two extremes. You will just go with that feeling no matter what the evidence is telling you. And that at some point degenerates into stupidity. Mm -hmm. If you ignore what the evidence is telling you, ignore other people's calculations, you ignore, well, that, that's stupidity. On the other hand, if you have this feeling and you let the first criticism of it discourage you, uh, that's not useful either. You know, so that's the other thing that is important, that you have to be sort of reasonable, but a bit stubborn, a bit stubborn and a bit believing in yourself. This person says it and this person may be a great physicist, but in this case, maybe exactly what they're saying is right. Maybe exactly what I said was not right, but I can move it around to make it right. I feel, I feel, I will try. You know, to have to trust yourself enough to do that is very mm -hmm. important. Not to the extent of being pig-headed. Right, that's another way. Yeah. That's another another thing that right. you certainly with through confidence and through, you know, to have confidence and a certain adventurousness. Certain adventurousness is very important. And it helps if you have the personality that, that, makes you skeptical. You know, some great physicist has said this, you know, ah, I don't care who said it, I'm not sure I believe it. You know, that helps. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And the YouTube algorithm thinks that you will also like this video.